Okay, this is a look at this Technics RS B29R cassette deck that I have listed for sale. Uh, from what I gather, uh, this deck is about 35, 34 years old, uh, but it is in remarkably well kept condition. Uh, you can see on the cover, really everything is no scratches, everything's straight. Uh, this really didn't see a lot of use. A little little wear on the buttons that you can tell but otherwise this thing is really well kept right down to the sticker brag sheet that's still on that cassette door uh, and functionality wise everything works perfectly uh, so I'll start by inserting a pre-recorded tape just to test out the playback functionality this does have auto reverse start off on the forward direction you can see nice bright uh, orange going into red vacuum fluorescent VU meters. Kind of take a look at what uh, what kind of features it has. Uh, of course, power and eject. Uh, you do have these light indicators on the cassette door for tape direction, playback, and record mode. Uh, moving over here, mechanical tape counter timer for record and playback, a balance control for recording. Uh, the control functions here, you've got the tape direction, pause, stop, fast forward and rewind, record, uh, auto record mute will insert, I believe, uh, I think four seconds of silence into a recording. Uh, this music select feature is kind of an automatic track finding function where if you want to skip to the next track during the playback, uh, in playback mode you hit the fast forward button or rewind depending on what direction the tape is traveling in uh, and it will automatically seek out uh, the next track and play it back. So it kind of looks for, it fast forwards and looks for the si a certain amount of silence to detect a skip between tracks and then it will back up a bit and start playing at the beginning of the next track. Uh, and then moving back to these, uh, the functions, uh, of course, the reverse mode, you could have it on continuous auto-reverse or take that off. Uh, does play all three types of tapes, including metal. And this deck does have Dolby B and C noise reduction. It has quarter-inch headphone output and left and right microphone inputs. Test the auto reverse, and it will play the other side, working properly. And then again in this direction, if you want to find the next track, you would hit rewind, and it will seek out the next bit of silence and play back accordingly. It does have traditional fast forward and rewind. You just need to stop at first and then engage those and it will fast forward or rewind indefinitely. Um, I'll do one more thing. I'll get a blank tape in there and take a recording. So you can see it does have a nice soft touch eject mechanism. Put a blank tape in and have some music queued up. Put it into record pause to get our levels. I don't know too much of that. Well, you can you can hear there's no scratchiness in the input level control or the balance control. So those are nice and clean. Well, this is just a two-head deck, so this is only monitoring the source. Uh, we will start recording uh, by taking it out of pause, or you know, just putting it in play. And I'll hit the counter, so we'll get a few seconds of recording, and we'll play it back and see what it sounds like on just a regular Maxell Type 1. 
should be enough. So. I did not use any dull before that. So everything works as well as it should. Uh, it's a great deck. I'm only getting rid of it because I have uh, a better cassette deck.